Hello everybody, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is a monthly astrology and tarot reading for astrological sign Virgo for both women and for men being born under this Virgo astrological sign. March 2017 already in front of us, so let us try to see together what type of impacts basically you can expect during this month, what type of people, events, news or information. I also do recommend to you please go and watch also your moon and your rising sun as well. Okay, my dear Virgo friends, let's get started. In front of you, you already can see this astrology wheel with of course 12 different places with the 12 different houses if you are not that familiar with uh, astrology in uh, general then basically what this astrology will means for you this is like you living on a planet earth uh, let me put planet earth here in the center in the middle uh, and this is basically your big big house in your house you have not one not two room but 12 rooms so this is like your room for your personality, this is basically in another room how basically you earn your money. This is where I live your siblings and your brothers, sisters and your friends. And you know this is your marriage, I don't know, this is your uh, religion belief system, this is your career and so on and on, so on and so on. So let us try to see together uh, in which houses, uh, basically in which uh, rooms you are going to be affected the most. Okay, so my dear Virgo friends, let me start with Jupiter being in a sign of Libra in your second house. You know that, most likely know that Jupiter now is in a retrograded motion in your second house. Now, this is so good, you know, to have Jupiter in your second house because Jupiter will bring to you more business, more job opportunities which basically will be very, very lucrative for you. Not only that, if you want to start a new job, maybe even business of your own, you can attract now until, until November 2017 so many important basically people in your life, charming people who will, who will talk with you in a, such a nice, nice way. Okay, uh, Uranus, Mars and Venus are in your 8th house in a sign of an Aries, Uranus, Mars and Venus. Now, this is your 8th house. 8th house and dealing with other people's problems. Now, you will find yourself in a situation, most likely, maybe not all of you, but at least some of you, that uh, you uh, will help someone with your money, saving someone with your money or at least with financial advice also falling in love all of the sudden meeting someone and this is basically sexual relationship maybe this is not truth for love but what the heck sometimes it's uh, so much better to take you know anything uh, sometimes not always but sometimes and this person is uh, important at least on one level for you how come Nothing on this planet Earth is happening by coincidence, so uh, whether you like it or not, this man, if you are like a woman watching this video, this man have a um, special, uh, special role in your life. Now, who this person basically is? Most likely your lover and someone that you already know. Uh, whoever this person is, this is Mars, this is Venus, meaning man and a woman being together. In the relationship which most likely this is not till the rest of your life but you know never mind you know what the heck go with it and you know try basically you know to enjoy believe me those three planets are basically screaming you know enjoy yourself and don't try to ask uh, for expiration date this is not a relationship as I already mentioned which which will last uh, for another 50 years or so most likely this is love affair but never mind at this present moment maybe for whatever reason might be maybe you need this exactly this type of man in your life okay next 
Saturn is, of course, in a sign of Sagittarius in your fourth house. I don't know, maybe you still have some problems with your siblings, with your kids. Maybe they do not want to listen to you. Everything depends how old or young you are. Whatever it is, maybe you need to take care about your mother. Maybe even, maybe you need to take care about your father, whatever it is. This is serious, serious, some kind of responsibilities taking action in your house. Okay, Pluto is of course still in a Capricorn in your fifth house and Pluto have a big uh, impact but uh, at this point I want to say something to you Pluto, uh, Neptune and Uranus all those three planets are generational planets maybe you know some people cannot even feel impact coming from Uranus, Pluto and Neptune but if you can feel if you're sen sensible enough if you're sensitive enough then basically what this Pluto wants to, to give you. Uh, Pluto is not here and now to give you something, no, just at the contrary. Pluto wants to take something away from you, what this might be. Maybe you just too rigid, maybe you just too frightened, maybe you're too shy, so you need to change those couple of things from inside of you. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to say anything against you. But your shyness, you know, and even you trying to control the way of your love relationship can basically can basically work against you. So try to think a little bit in those uh, terms. Okay, next, Neptune, Sun, Mercury in your seventh house in the sign of Pisces. Now, Neptune, Sun. And Mercury in your seventh house. So basically, this is a stellium in a sign of Pisces. Quite very easily, you can meet uh, a Leo, uh, important man basically for you. You can meet Gemini. You can meet a Pisces person. Also, quite very easily, this man could be an Aries, maybe even a Sagittarius. Now, uh, what basically you can expect? Uh, you can expect type of uh, love uh, which will be like a fairy tale but you know when you were a child and basically when whenever you have a chance uh, you know to read or maybe your mother or father read to you a fairy tale basically uh, you know um, fairy tale is fairy tale you know maybe this meeting uh, or maybe circumstances of meeting could be like a fairy tale for you maybe you do not want to trust this person Maybe this person will say to you that basically you are too good for him. Maybe he will try to even to escape because he will be or she will be, depends on your gender, a little bit, you know, frightened of, of this uh, too powerful, uh, you know, feelings. And I can see many, 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 many conversations, conversations about you and this very special person in your life. You know, uh, can we make some plans now? You know, you need a plan because this is... This is part of who you are. You want to make some plan. But this person lives in a moment. And this is exactly what you are frightened of. You cannot live in a moment. You need a plan. Plan, plan, another plan. You know, without a plan, you basically are feeling uh, lost. Maybe this is your problem. Do you remember what I told you about Pluto hanging? And he will stay there for a couple of years in your fifth house. All I'm saying, think little bit about you know what I just said to you okay full moon in a sign of Virgo this is your sign uh, which will happen March 12th of course in your first house now with this full moon in your first house in in a, in a in a house or in a room of your personality this is you looking yourself at the mirror this is basically saying yourself okay now I get it what you wasted your time many many years on people who basically were not that good for you now you want to change something when it comes to your uh, love uh, life now you want to grab uh, basically the first opportunity which will come uh, your way now you want to have some fun now you finally realize that you cannot live instead of someone else including your kids now you will understand that basically you put yourself on the very last spot in your life, on the last place in your life, uh, and now you will change that 
all together. So, this is a little something about your full moon. Uh, Virgo people, new moon in a sign of Aries, which will happen in your 8th house. And you already know that in your 8th house you have Venus, uh, Mars and Uranus. Bang! With new moon. And what that means for you? This is, of course, meeting someone very, very important for you. Uh, this man could be even younger than you, especially if you are like a woman watching this video. But once again, I will repeat a key word for you during this march. What the heck? I want, I want it. I want it, I want him, I want him now. And now you will basically, during this period of time, you will forget about all those, you know, walls that you are so successfully built all around you and finally you'll say okay what the heck you know i want to taste it i want to know what basically other people talk uh, about uh virgo people go with it i uh, know go with it go for it this is exactly what i wanted to say now very very powerful sexual chemistry for the first time in your life you ain't gonna ask for expiration date you ain't gonna ask you know i Mary, are you going to marry me? And, you know, this type of questions. Yes, I know, part of you now are going to be very mad at me, but try to understand basically what I am trying to say to you. Not me. My job is to translate astrology language and my job is to translate tarot symbols. Okay, now we are finished with uh, astrology. Now you can hear I'm shuffling my tarot deck. So let me try to see what you can expect in the month of March when it comes again for every single room in your life. Do you remember what I told you? A chart, astrology chart is a big house with 12 rooms. Okay, uh, enough of shuffling. Let's say, let's say enough. Okay, uh, first tarot card which I have for you, King of Swords. Now, once again, I just told you, full moon in the house of your personality, you taking your life in charge. This is exactly what it is. Big major decision is, and you will finally come to those, you know, terms that you are responsible for your life, that everything basically depends on you, and you can create your life. Now, in the month of March, so much easier than basically before. Your second house with Major Arcana the Hermit, you are still, you know, wandering around. You are still not very pleased with your incomes, but believe me, you will, since you have Jupiter in your uh, in your second house in the sign of Libra. Now, think clearly. Think once again. What is basically that you want to do for your living during this period of time, especially with the full moon and the King of Swords in the first house? Believe me, you will find a treasure. Do you believe me? You will find a treasure. I'm talking about quite very, very good job. Three of Cups. This is you um, uh, celebrating something. Um, maybe this is a birthday party for someone, siblings, your friends, you know, whatever, whatever it is. You will have such a good time with your friends in the month of March and especially with your, with your siblings. Maybe all together, your friends, your family, your siblings, all together celebrating something very, very important in your life. Okay, your fourth house, Queen of Cups. Now, who this person might be? Pisces, uh, Cancer, <clears throat> or Scorpio? Mm -mm, I talk too much and I talk too fast. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio? Someone who basically is quite very uh, close to you. Maybe this is your husband, maybe this is your wife, depends, of course, on your gender. Someone who maybe have, maybe your spouse have some kind of, you know, problems and uh, he will need you, your husband, he will need you. But above all, if this is your husband, he is deeply in love with you. I mean deeply, deeply, deeply in love with you. But on the other hand, your husband most likely have some, you know, problems of his own, could be health, but also could be health issues coming from his parents or something, something like that. Your fifth house, this is what I have for you, Four of Cups, you still have uh, regrets, you still cannot forget about your ex, this is so very easy for me, you know, to predict. And this Scorpio Cancer is still thinking of you. But I am not that sure that this person is still good for you. And I think that this person is afraid even to speak your name, to call you. This person is much too afraid. Okay, your sixth house with the Queen of uh, uh, Wands. This is Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries. 
Now, this is basically your chance because there is a conjunction between Venus, Mars and Uranus. You know, at a house, your colleague basically is lurking at you already now um, while I am recording this video. So, this is Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Someone with who basically you, you can have quite very, very good... Um, um, love or basically sexual relationship. If you already know who this person is, then you already know basically what is in front of you. Your seventh house with the three of wands. Now this is you making uh, plans. Now in your seventh house you have Neptune, Mercury and the Sun and this is you making uh, plans. Couple of Virgos, not all of you, not majority of Virgo people. Some Virgo people are already in a secret love relationship. Now, you need to speak up your mind uh, if everything depends on you. Or basically, you will ask this lover of yours, do you have any kind of you know, plans? Are you willing to get your divorce, divorce or something like that? When I've finished all this uh, tarot reading, then I will put two additional two tarot cards only for your, for your, uh, for your seventh uh, house. Eight house with a two of uh, wands. And once again, you have stellium in your eight house. Now, someone want to be with you and very, very um, strongly, you know, someone strongly feel about you. Most likely, once again, I don't know what is happening with you, but most likely uh, you will end up, if I may say such a thing, with Leo Sagittarius or Aries. Uh, but for some of you, uh, in your picture during the month of March, basically can, can, uh, can enter also Scorpio or Cancer. But basically, this man is counting on you. And not for one day, for one week, for one month. For quite a long, 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 long time. But big question is, are you good with his terms when it comes, you know, with this secret love affair? And I already told you, this is secret love affair. At least for some of you. At least for some of you. Do you remember what I told you at one point? What the heck? Give me, give me, give me all and give me now. Uh, Ten of Cups uh, in your ninth uh, house. Uh, Ten of Cups. This is completely you being pleased. Whatever it is in your life, you are completely somehow contempt. You are pleased because now you can see that God did not forget about you. Now you will understand that your life is in front of you. Now you will understand that basically for all of your good deeds, you are going to be rewarded. This is also you having one opportunity to, to travel with your siblings. Maybe this is you traveling with your siblings because you will have opportunity uh, to celebrate something. So very, 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 very easily. Of course, if you're already married, then you will travel with your friends, with your siblings uh, to, to another town. Or maybe uh, your siblings will visit you. They will visit you. If you are in a kind of uh, unstable uh, relationship, uh, maybe you already meet someone online, then this person most likely will visit you in the month of March. Okay, your 10th house, this is your career, this is your job, this is basically your work. Eight of Wands. Now, uh, you can expect important call, you can expect in important business uh, meeting, something is shifting, something is develop developing, in a very very fast way now some virgo um, people all over the world you are kind of sad not angry but sad because you do not believe that that basically you can achieve what you want to achieve when it comes to your career uh, section but honey you will yes i can see some things are going to be delayed some things from january some things from uh, february 2017 but in the first part of a uh, month of March, you will receive this important call. Or maybe this is basically finally someone from very, very important uh, company. Someone basically will give you a job. Still, you cannot believe that this is basically happening to you. But, uh, you know, maybe someone lost your CV. Uh, something of that kind could, could happen in the month of uh, February. And, you know, all of the sudden, you know, someone is going to be, you know, pretty, you know, surprised. How come? We did not call you on the first, uh, uh, I don't know, interview. 
oh, excuse me, this is our mistake, or something, something, something of that kind could happen. Okay, your 11th house, King of Cups, once again, and you know that your 11th house, this is basically a social groups, clubs, hopes, wishes, you know, your friends. Once again, uh, this is a sign of uh, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Now, this is basically your friend, but quite, quite, quite very easily, this could be someone coming from your past. Someone is someone is still infatuated in you. But this person, he already know that basically you ain't gonna give him most likely another chance and I can see him delaying to give you a call. Okay, and the final, once again, once again, cups. And this is your 12th house, Knight of uh, Cups. <clears throat> this is basically your dream. Now, because this is your 12th house we are dealing with now, uh, opposite is of course your sixth house and this is queen of wands so i think that some at least some but maybe even i don't know maybe many of you you have this dream you're dreaming about sagittarius leo or an aries believe me during this period of time you will have a chance you know to be with this person how can i know that quite very easily because i know the position of planets i told you there is a conjunction uranus mars and venus in the, in the month, month, month of march so there you go all of your dreamings, dreamings will basically come true. And additional to tarot cards, which I already um, promised to, to you that I will put in your seventh house. This is my dear Virgo friends, what I have for you. Major card of the world next to Knight of uh, Wands. Once again, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Now, this person quite very easily could be a foreigner, maybe someone who basically traveling through your town. Um, maybe someone who is um, here and now taking uh, education of some kind uh, could be a foreigner could be someone meeting online maybe this is your meeting and on your travelings basically you can meet uh, this man uh, this man especially if this is a leo he if you're a woman watching this video he might be younger than you could be doesn't have to be all i'm saying you know could be but if this is your ex especially with this three of once which i already put here in your seventh house quite very easily someone from your past can call you once again now what the heck if you are lonely if you do not want to stay single anymore uh you know uh i don't know i don't know okay if you do not want your ex back don't do that but this person all of a sudden will start making plans with you and this is basically maybe the most important in your reading kind of this man will say to you okay i do not want to leave you um i do not want to be with someone else i want to be with you month of march especially when it comes to your marriage especially when it comes to your love life is going to be most likely the most important very 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 important month my dear virgo people so there you go this is all there is for one month Thank you so very much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please subscribe on my channel, like and share this video with your friends. Until next month, I wish you all the best. God bless you all. Bye-bye.